I'm Callie Holderman. I'm the Senior Manager of Developer Experience at Magic Leap, and I am the Immersive Chair for SIGGRAPH 2021. Um, I've been in the AR VR space for a while, and today I want to talk to you about connection, co-presence, and cross-platform with AR, and why it is really critical that as an industry we really think that no man is an island. I have two goals to share with you today. So we keep hearing throughout uh, the series here today that cross-platform and co-presence in AR is really critical to mass adoption. But I want to explore a bit why that's true. And then look at how Magic Leap's platform and its Magic Verse makes sense as a foundational choice when you take your experience uh, cross-platform. So when we think about AR today, um, we think about a bunch of people walking around the city, heads down in their phone. And you can see really cool things on the screen. Um, and it really expands our world, and it's amazing. But the problem is it disconnects us from our real space, and it silos us because when someone's not paying attention to us when they talk and they're looking at their screen, um, you know, we, we don't feel connected. We're kind of denying part of our humanity here. Um, but all of us have these, uh, these devices in our pocket. Millions of people have smartphone technology. That's really, like, not going away anytime soon. Um, so for reach, you know, you really need to have AR experiences on mobile. But with head-mounted displays like HoloLens and Magic Leap, you're getting out of that screen. The content's in the world around you, and you can see your environment and other people. So really, it's a win-win to be across both. And there's two pieces um, that I think is, illustrates this really well. So one is co-presence and augmented reality. You need to be present with the other people in this space. Um, so in the case of an app we recently made, uh, Pancakes, you're actually flipping pancakes with each other in the same pace. It's a game of catch, but it's really fun and exciting. And it's a lot more rewarding to share that experience with someone else and have that AR experience with someone else in the room with you. The other thing is uh, cross-platform. So uh, having the ability to see what other people are seeing. And you know, not everyone has a head-mounted display like Magic Leap today. How do you participate if you just have your mobile phone? So if you can see what other people are seeing and contribute, and then also see people coming in uh, remotely, like with our app uh, Magic Leap World Spatiate, um, you really then get this rich uh, experience. And actually, I practiced this talk in Spatiate two days ago. So it was a really rewarding and enriching way to prepare to, to speak to all of you. Um, what this all boils down to is connection. So when we, uh, when we take our, our experiences cross-platform and when we bring people co-present with us, we're creating connection. Connection to ideas, connection to our reality, and connection to each other. And that makes it powerful because we're able to share information and make decisions. So why go cross-platform with Magic Leap? Why does Magic Leap make sense as a foundational choice? Aside from just breaking out from the screen, um, it really boils down to what this device can do. So it has voice input, just like your phone does. But it has a, a sense of where you are. We call that head pose because the device is on your head. Um, but we also have eye gaze and gesture. And you've heard today a lot of the benefits um, and the experiences you can create with that. With gesture, you're actually touching the digital objects, um, interacting with them like you would any you know, physical device. And eye gaze, too, the same. You can see where people are focusing. You can see where they're paying attention. And that's great because it enables uh, you know, anyone can do that. But also, if, you're, if you have less mobility, if you can't use your hands, um, given the situation, you can use eye gaze to uh, trigger interactions um, and understand what people are focusing. We also support peripherals. We have a control with six degrees of freedom, so you can swipe and point. Um, we have a mobile app, and you can connect Bluetooth peripheral devices like keyboards to the Magic Leap headset. Um, what is by far, in my opinion, the coolest part is our perception layer. So as you're wearing this headset and walking around, it's mapping your environment and generating a 3D mesh of the world around you. And with that mesh, it's able to understand the objects and um, you know, the furniture and the walls in the room. We simplify that down to planes, so you can just understand surfaces, what's horizontal and vertical. Sometimes you don't need the richness of the information. Um, and with the two of those, you can do ray casting. So you can point with a controller, with your eye gaze, with your gesture, and actually uh, trigger interactions that way. This is one of our developer samples, and you can see just I booted, pulled this down from the device, and you're waving the control around, and it's actually understanding what is the floor, what is the ceiling. 
Um, and we do all of this with cloud services too. So all of that information from the world is passed up to the cloud. It uh, creates a rich environment for you there. Um, we also have identity services. So you can, uh, you know, we handle the authentication for you. And enterprise device management. So if you have a fleet of Magic Leap devices, you know, you can manage who has access to what content and what apps are on and off the device. And this creates a lot of opportunities. So Magic Leap delivers highly immersive, collaborative AR experiences, and that really connects people and ideas. Um, you've heard from some of our partners today, like Bob, about what you can do with data visualization. Um, this helps with training, um, education, but also on the entertainment side, you can have location-based experiences, get people to interact with your brand, um, and have this uh, exciting experience uh, in, in Magic Leap. Um, our big vision with this, though, is to uh, take this not just from this room experience or even this building, but to do this citywide. And we want to connect the physical world to the digital world. Um, and you heard about this as like architectural AR. At Magic Leap, uh, we call this the Magic Verse. Um, and it's, again, that mapping of the world. Uh, once we get a full environment of that, we'll have what we call a digital twin, which is a replica of everything here you know, in the digital layer. And then from there, as creators, you can um, build different layers, different experiences, and depending on who has access to which layers, you'll see different parts. So if I'm a civil engineer, I may see different parts of this building than I would uh, as a tourist or as a visitor, I'd see have a different experience. But we'd be in the same place. So big picture, we're looking at citywide AR powered by 5G and edge computing, telepresence, and also deep connection with those around us. That's the magic works. That's the big dream. Are we there today? Not quite. But you can get started. Um, we are just now releasing local alignment and real world positioning. What does that mean? It means I can put content here, and you can see it, I can see it, and it'll exist when we leave the room and come back. It's a really critical foundational step to building this bigger vision that we have. So um, for the last bit here, I just want to give you a few decisions to help you get started with making an app for Magic Leap today that works kind of in this magic verse uh, realm. So if you're thinking, how should I get started? Um, one of the first choices you have to make is, do I want to run a web app or do I want to build a native app? And Jen Mack gave you a, a deep dive on what are the opportunities with web apps. These run you know, in the browser. Whereas if you want to build something natively and deploy it uh, across platform, we support major game engines, and we also have our own uh, Magic, Script and Magic Script and Lumen Runtime that my colleagues spoke about earlier today. Um, if that is not really how you want to approach it, if you're like, hey, I know these programming languages, uh, you can think about it this way. Um, these are the um, frameworks that we have that support JavaScript. You can also develop in C or C++ or C Sharp. Um, so if this helps you, think about it this way. Pick your options here. Um, and the last decision you have to make when just thinking about your app is whether you want it to run in the landscape or whether you want it to be immersive. Um, those are the terms we use at Magic Leap. And uh, you can think of landscape more like uh, desktop widgets. So you have multiple apps running concurrently, uh, like a clock or um, a calendar, uh, maybe a YouTube video. So these are all from different providers and you can see them in the same space at the same time. Whereas an immersive app, uh, is more like a game or entertainment experience. It fills the entirety of the space. And so uh, your users are really just focused on that. Um, today, our, uh, our web uh, Helio runs uh, exclusively in landscape, whereas uh, Unity, Unreal, and WebXR are immersive. Um, landscape and Lumen Runtime, are uh, they can run in either. So now that you have your app, uh, what does it take to make it a multi-user app? How do you bring it to the magic verse? So there's a lot of choices uh, available to you today. We don't we provide some, but there's also tons of uh, people we partner with, um, cloud uh, solutions. So it's really up to you to pick what's right for your business. Um, you'll need cloud storage so that you can, um, you know, store that content. What is the content that you're sharing uh, in this experience with multiple users? Once you have that, how are your devices communicating with each other? Uh, what is your networking solution? There's a lot of real-time communication solutions available today, uh, like Normcore, Photon, uh, UDP, uh, Twilio, many others. So there's lots of options out there. Please choose what's right for you. Uh, once you have that set up, 
how do you manage who sees what? There might be some things that I just see. There might be some content that all of us see together. Um, and Spatiate, you know, I have a paint palette and you see what I paint, but you don't necessarily see my tools because uh, you can't use them, only I can use them. Um, and also event management. So if I'm presenting, I have control over this, uh, but you know, you all won't. So you have to manage uh, content synchronization there. And then lastly, how do we pair up in a session? So how do we get started where you and I can join together, but other people can't? Um, that's where you wanna consider uh, user session sandboxing and uh, what's in the private space versus what's in public. Um, as you're considering all of this, you know you want to consider uh, your privacy needs, your latency, and your security, and really just choose the option that's right for you. So what's next for us at Magic Leap? Uh, I alluded to this earlier, but we will uh, be releasing kind of the basic framework for content persistence. We'll have our, what we call persistent coordinate frames um, that localizes uh, content for you and stores it on the cloud. Um, that's our new API coming out in our next Lumen SDK release. Uh, we'll also had extend a, a setting on our device so that you can inspect the quality of your map. That's just to make sure that your, the device has a real understanding of the room and helps you, uh, you know, helps the content stay more secure in the space. Uh, we'll also be uh, debuting cross-platform support for um, Magic Leap, iOS, and Android, and we'll have that available in Unity and Magic Script. Unreal will have iOS support in the next release with Android coming on later. So big picture, this is really the vision we see, is uh, citywide AR experiences powered by the Magicverse um, with people exploring, collaborating, communicating, sharing ideas uh, in the real world where they are, but with also you know, people who aren't there, virtual and remote folks. Uh, we can't do this alone. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about open source standards and contributing there. We are partnered with several of you. Um, Euphoria actually is supported on Magic Leap now as well. Um, we wanna continue this. We can't build this alone. And if we silo our AR content to islands, we can't grow as an industry. And we really welcome um, all of you developing experiences for Magic Leap as a platform, but also helping us uh, align on standards so that we can bring this vision um, to reality. I'll uh, conclude here with just sharing some resources. You can learn about uh, what I'm, more about what I'm speaking about on our developer portal. Um, check out our spatial web and magic script and our samples, learn to get started. I'd love to continue the conversation with you on Twitter. So um, please follow me and follow our Magic Leap Devs Twitter. Um, once again, I'm Callie Holderman and thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm.